Good morning loves. Welcome to Bower Beauty. One of my final days filming in this house. I am having an interesting hair situation. I just got home from yoga and I thought hmm, maybe I could salvage my hair by taking it down and fluffing it out. All right, ponytail has been established. If you don't know me, I'm the founder of Bower Beauty YouTube channel on all the networks, Bower Beauty Skincare on Amazon, BowerBeautyCompany.com, which has a ton of educational materials and of course our products. And I'm excited to be here with you today in one of the final videos I will film in this space. I am sad. I am happy, I'm excited, and I am uh, just a little bit of a morning hot mess, but you guys don't seem to mind that. You guys seem to like my morning videos and I like filming them. So I thought, you know, I have to get my show on the road anyways with packing and decluttering. Here's the deal. I'm relocating to Florida for an unknown period of time, looking for an investment property and just looking to switch things up for a moment. Decided to get an Airbnb to start for like the first month just so I can like scout out the area and see what I like and my pre-approval and so then I can easily buy a place, you know, while I'm there, while I'm on site, while I can see it in person. Otherwise, it's like I'm coming from Michigan. Like, it's very hard to do business from afar. Of course, actually, I would buy something sight unseen, except I just don't have my pre-approval yet because my taxes are annoying. So yeah, that's the situation. I'll be in an Airbnb for the first five weeks, and then I will be looking around, looking around the area, just seeing what I want, where I want to live, and what makes sense to buy. I want to get an investment property and like do the Airbnb thing, because I'm obsessed with Airbnb, and I think that I'm going to be really good as an Airbnb host. Just my humble opinion. Going to Florida for five weeks, blah, blah, blah. What else was, oh yes, and then I'm shipping my car. So, okay, I just changed the lighting. Do we like that? I actually like a little bit more blue purple on lighting versus like hot pink. Okay, so now what I was gonna say is it's April 11th and so I have to leave on the 30th. So like, I obviously have to pack up my whole shit. So because I'm going for five weeks, my plan is to put everything in a pod, a storage pod that I'm not gonna need for the first 30 days. Like I can only obviously take so much for the first 30 days because for the first month that I'm down there, I'm gonna be in an Airbnb, it's already furnished. I'm gonna just have to bring my things that I can just, you know, have for the first month, whatever fits in my suitcase, whatever I can ship down in my car. Once I find a place, I'll ship the rest of my stuff. That's my initial plan. I mean, it's a little fuzzy how everything's gonna work out, but I'm just putting it out there that it has to work out. We just, we just don't have another option for it. Okay, so yeah, so this week now, I'm like, all right, Jen, you need to start getting your like ducks in a row. I'm gonna finish my taxes. I'm gonna declutter, hence why I'm making this video. Um, I have a lot of things to do. I just have a lot of random things to do. I have to make a couple piles, one pile for like the stuff I need to bring to Miami because I am shipping my car so I can put some stuff in my car, some larger stuff, you know? But I am staying in the penthouse of like a 50 store build, story building. So I'm like, I don't want to drag like a whole bunch of stuff up and down those elevators. I personally don't like elevators that much. Um, and it just seems a little inconvenient. But I will bring my plants because like my plants, they hate their lives here. So I'm definitely going to put those in the back of my car, like strap them in and ship them down. They're going to be so happy in my new place. And then maybe just some like other random things I'll put in my car to ship down, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's all the stuff I'm going to have for the first 30 days. Everything else is going to be in a pod. So then I can easily just ship it down. There's like a lot of like things going on in my mind about how many piles of things I need. I don't just need everything to go. Get rid of shit and downsize because... Like the place I have down there might not be as this big as this place here. Do you see what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of things in my head. There's a lot of things in my head. But what I would probably do is just ship. Oh, I'm going to get rid of as much as I can. Like I don't need to have a lot of this stuff. And then am I just bambling on forever? Yeah. So I created a list in my notes app because I need to actually get the show on the road here. What else do I have to tell you about? Um, yeah, I was like not even posting last week at all because I've been so consumed with creating my clear skin blue, clear skin blueprint, which is my new acne course. Oh my God. It's like transforming my entire existence. I'm like, holy shit, this is life changing. Like people need to freaking take this. Like when it's open again, it's not open right now, but 
yeah, the the work that we're doing in there is so transformative. Make sure you get on my email list so you can stay abreast to like whatever the hell I'm, was going on in my business. We have new products launching. We have new courses launching. We have new all the things launching. So make sure you stay in contact with me via my email list, which will be linked in the description. And anything else I need to blab at you about? So I had to change my shirt. So don't be alarmed. You are not crazy. So I have like a delusion apparently of how much stuff I have because I was like, oh yeah, I'll just do the whole video. Like it'll just be like me going through all of my makeup and decluttering all my makeup. And I just literally pulled my foundations and my skin products and like it's this whole box that's overflowing and i'm like oh maybe this video will just be dedicated to skin products after all well, let's see how this goes okay through my extensive scientific research i have decided we needed three different categories one purging getting rid of because i don't like it two need in miami for the first 30 days and three, packing to eventually come because it's not an urgent need, okay? All right, so let's start. Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. What do we need to do with this? Oh boy, it starts already. I don't really fucking know. I don't think I'm gonna need a Wonder Glow, to be honest, for the first 30 days. I think I'm gonna need to decrease my glow. So I'll put this in the, we need to pack. We need to pack it. Okay, next, Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. This setting spray is like slightly, just slightly greasy. Um, not in like a greasy, greasy way, but it's just like, it leaves your skin just ever so slightly glossy a little bit. And I just don't, I don't think that I'm gonna need that. You know, I'm thinking hot, humid climate. We're gonna bring it, but we're not gonna need it the first 30 days. Complexion Rescue by Bare Minerals. I'm bringing it, but I don't need it the first 30 days. How many times are we gonna freaking say the first 30 days in this video? This is a nice product. It's just, it's very glossy. It is a nice product. It just like really does not dry matte. And in fact, it's just slightly dewy, greasy. So we're keeping it, we're bringing it, but we don't need to fly down there with it, okay? It's not an urgent need. Okay, this product is actually a nice product, but I'm gonna throw it away because I've had it for, I don't know, a while now, and let's see if I need it. It is a nice product, but I feel like it just like has like a slight orange cast, and I just don't know if it's an urgent need or something I, I need to bring at all. So. Tentatively, it's going in the getting rid of bin. It's actually like kind of stressful for me to do this because I have had so much space here. And that is also a bad thing because you, you tend to start accumulating things you don't need, which I actually feel like has happened to me a lot. I feel like I have accumulated a lot of things I do not need. Okay, next, this Arrive Skin Boost. So, this actually did look really good, but I just never reached for it. I think it was slightly temperamental. This is it swatched. From what I remember, it was slightly temperamental, like depending on what you layered underneath it, it could look good or bad. Um, the bad was bad though, it like was emphasizing texture and whatever. But I'm not gonna get rid of it. Um, maybe I'm delusional, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. I still, I still think there's hope for it, to be honest. Okay, next, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I actually really do like this, and it's a lightweight tinted moisturizer, but it's a little too dark for me, and I really just don't wear it that much. But when I'm wearing self-tanner, it's nice. As long as I have self-tanner on and I put like a sunscreen on, this is really nice to go on top, but I'm, as of now, I'm just gonna keep it in the bringing, but not right away pile. Okay, next. I don't know why I just never vibed with this. I feel like it's like actually just, it's not really a serum, it's really a foundation. And that bothered me like, I don't know, I just feel like this wasn't the ideal packaging for this type of formula. But in order to fit the brand of being a serum, they wanted to put it in this, in this packaging and it should have been like a much more watery, formula to be honest i don't know i feel like i'm gonna get rid of that okay shantikai future skin a product i still have not used so i'm definitely gonna put that aside and try it the lancome tinty doll i don't i don't wear this i mean i i need to get rid of it i just do not wear it 
Rare Beauty, the Rare Beauty Foundation, definitely keeping this. Do I need this in Miami? It's possible I need this in Miami for the first 30 days. Neutrogena Hydra Boost. We are keeping these, yes, and we are bringing these, like they're urgent, urgent need. Next, It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better Foundation. I'm definitely bringing this. Like, I think it's something that I use on a semi-regular basis and it's a very thin formula that I think would perform well in the in the heat in that type of like tropical climate so I am bringing this okay these two products are non-negotiable if you live in a tropical climate if you live in a tropical climate there's literally no way you could survive without this product Chanel water tint this is so flipping amazing like I'm gonna swatch the color that doesn't really suit me. This is what it looks like. It's like a hyaluronic acid with like color beads and then you rub it out and those beads break. It's pure water. There is literally no oil in here at all and it leaves your skin looking mother truck and flawless. I mean, look at that. It is so gorgeous, but it's translucent. Like it's transparent. It's not opaque. It's not like a heavy foundation. It's just like, it dries matte, it keeps you matte, and it it's not like a heavy or a thick or opaque foundation. It's like one of those foundations that you can wear day or night, and I personally do. When I'm in like a hot climate, I'm wearing this day and day to night, day and night, doesn't really matter. This formula is freaking amazing. And I only learned this. Like I bought this like fall of 2020, okay? I never used it. I just didn't vibe with it. And then I went to Florida and I didn't bring this. I went to Florida in December of 2020. And I was like, oh my God, no foundation that I brought is working out for me right now. Like every foundation freaking sucks. And it dawned on me, oh my gosh, I need that water tint. So I went to Macy's and bought another one. That's why I have two. But I did buy, this color is medium light and this color is light. Light was like a little too light for me, but this medium light is perfect. Oh my gosh, I just can't tell you enough. Dries matte. There's not an ounce of oil in it. I'm addicted and it is mandatory. It's, it's mandatory, okay? I'm telling you right now, it's mandatory. Okay, this Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream, to be honest, it's so, it's very mediocre. It's like, I don't know, maybe I need to try it again, but I just, I think I tried it once and I was like, okay, it's just like another basic BB cream that really isn't offering me anything in my life. I mean, I'm tempted to kind of get rid of it, but then again, it's like, I just bought it. So I kind of feel like I need to try it before I make a final decision. So I have a fourth pile. I need to try it again. That's the Chantecaille and the Revlon BB Cream. Okay, this is another It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation, but in a darker color, and I don't like this color, so I don't know if I'd even like this color. Let's see, because a lot of It Cosmetics foundations, I don't know if you guys have noticed, they, they tend to be very warm, and I am not warm. I am neutral. That's the only thing with It Cosmetics. I am going to save this because what if I get a spray tan and I like this color, but I don't need it for like the beginning, okay? Next, I purchased this. Obviously, it looks nice. It has a pump. It's like a Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector with retinol and sunscreen. And I was just thinking this could be good, but I, from what I remember, it's not good. I think the color definitely is not good. Holy shit, the color is horrendous. I'm going to just throw this away, to be honest baggage you know how hard it hurts me to be throwing all this stuff away that it's like I think I'm a hoarder honestly I think I actually have hoarding tendencies because I mean I actually I do purge a lot but I, I think I do get emotionally attached to my things sometimes like okay this is another rare beauty foundation this is just the darker color too dark for me but when I have a spray tan I use this or sometimes I mix these two when I have a spray tan so I will I don't think I need this the first 30 days. Okay, Hourglass, this is a sample size of the Veil Mineral Primer. Actually, I will bring this. I will pack this the first 30 days because like it's a sample size and I, I most likely will need it. Okay, this is an Hourglass foundation that I've never used, so that's great. Hourglass Warm Ivory, it's just like too, not the right color, but I guess I'm gonna put this in my giving away pile. So next is this Derma Blend CC Cream, which is so, so, so good. 
I'm obsessed with this, but it's unnecessary to bring with me. This CC cream is amazing and I'm obsessed, but I prefer it in like winter dry climates. Therefore, I'm barely using the 25 to 30. Those are usually too dark for me. This is like a science project. Well, I'm definitely bringing the 20N. Okay, this is like a glow that you cannot match. Like it's such a nice glowy without being too thick or greasy, for example. Like this is glowy, but it's greasy, right? This is glowy, but it's not greasy, but it's still not a product that I would say I desperately need in a hot climate or would or would ever even go towards in a hot climate, but I'm still gonna pack it to bring. But I don't know if I need 25N and 30N. I think I'm gonna get rid of them. Next is this Burt's Bees Tinted Moisturizer that I used one time and I just, I just don't need it. I just don't need it. Okay, another product I used once and disliked. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Tinted Face, whatever the hell it's called. This has potential, okay? It has potential. It's just number one, the color is a little too light for me. Number two, this formula really sticks to like all your damn dry skin and it has a tendency to settle in creases and stuff. It just wasn't really a pleasant experience using this product, unfortunately. I had high hopes for it, but yeah, it's too light on top of being like, like I'm telling you, I, I tend to be like a little flaky because I'm always doing something wild to my skin. And if I had to make a call, I would say I'm getting rid of that. Ooh, I bet my friend's gonna like this. Okay, next is this CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless. I actually freaking love this product, but I'm not gonna bring it like in my suitcase. I'm not gonna bring it in my suitcase. It's too thick for like think even thinking about right now. Okay, next is this, but this leaves you I actually have a video on this too. If you're interested, I have a video on this. This foundation is stunning. It really airbrushes the hell out of you and just like it's so pretty and gorgeous, but it's like a thicker foundation. So I don't know how I'm going to like it in that type of hot climate. Next is the Studio Radiance Face and Body Radiant Sheer Foundation by MAC. I mean, everyone said I had to try this, right? But I don't know. This color is a little off, I feel like. And some of these luminous foundations are just not not that friendly with like skin texture. You know, it makes your texture look enhanced i am like tempted to almost get rid of this i just i used it once and i never used it again i think i'm gonna get rid of it oh my god this is so painful i'll be honest it's so painful next this fenty beauty foundation it's not horrible but it's not great it's it's really not great i barely fucking use it actually i'm getting so stressed throwing all this stuff away though honestly Next, L'Oreal Infallible Obsessed. I just bought this color because I have this color and it's too dark. But maybe when I wear a spray tan, it'll be better. So this is 420 and this is 445. This one, number 445 Vanilla, I think it's called. It's too yellow. But this one is almost veering on yellow too, surprisingly, even though this is a beige. True beige. I would say it's 1% yellow. I'm gonna actually keep both. I'm gonna consider bringing this in my suitcase. No, I'm not. I have too many. I have too many. I have way too many. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll survive. Okay, next is this Nano Blur Bronzing Drops by Indeed Labs. I just don't use these. I do not use any type of bronzing product that is creamy that I would put on my face as a cream I guess what am I trying to say yeah I don't use it I'm gonna get rid of it next oh my gosh this product I never freaking used I never used this I was afraid of it you know how you're just afraid of some like products like anything called a tinted glow hydrator like those are obviously words I, I like but just thinking about this it kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of this complexion rescue the idea of the complexion rescue that's called the tinted hydrating gel cream and so anything tinted glow hydrator i'm just thinking greasy texture nasty like that's kind of that's the translation in my brain you know like i just never freaking went towards this and i could be completely wrong oh no it's definitely thick it's definitely thick 
I just swatched it. So it's a little bit of a thicker texture. I find that my instinct is kind of dead on. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. In fact, all this shit talking about Bare Minerals, I can't believe I'm not getting rid of that. It's not a bad product. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's so temperamental. Like, alrighty. NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I thought this was for the full face at first. I mean, clearly anyone with a logical brain can see it's the size of a concealer. Concealer, concealer. But you know, the serum thing threw me off. So like this color is probably too dark for me to use as a concealer. But I was really wanting to try it as a concealer, but it's definitely too dark to use a con as a concealer. But when I accidentally used it all over my whole face, oh my God, my skin was so damn glowy and airbrushed. It was crazy. Didn't really last all day though. So I don't know. I'm feeling like this is too dark for me. I should just probably get rid of it. Oh my God, this is so rough. Okay, next is Derma Blend Concealer. This concealer is a flippin' amazing. Amazing. Oh my God. It's watery thin. It does not settle in your fine lines or creases or anything. It is, I'm just rubbing it out right now. I don't know if that's a good representation of, or if you can even see it, but it's um, like a very flawless finish. Does not settle in creases, does not like do anything weird. It's very lightweight and comfortable, but it's opaque. It's see-through. It's full coverage, as the normal people say. Love it, but I don't need it the first 30 days because I have a different concealer that I'm obsessed with. Okay, next is this Huda Beauty Foundation in Custard. The, they said this is a neutral. That's why I bought it. Girlfriend, who is, who, what, in what world do you think that that is neutral? That's not neutral. That is warm. Do you see how angry I'm getting? It's just, I was really excited to try this. First of all, the packaging is stunning. You know, like the formula I think could be amazing, but like, bitch. Nope, it's emphasizing texture, settling in pores. And I remember the last time I used this, I hated my life and I couldn't even post the video that I recorded on YouTube when I was using this because I just hated my freaking makeup so much. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. You know, what's funny is I had it in my empties like, or hates video one time, empties video, maybe several months ago or something. I just remember this being in the empties video and then deciding like, Oh, I'm going to give it another chance, but nope. First instinct will make you a star. You know what I'm saying? Same with this hourglass foundation in the same color. You know, it's just like this warm tone just is nasty. Like I, I can't put that on my face. And I think that this formula might have potential to be nice, but not in this color. So it's just, I have to get rid of it. I have so much anxiety getting rid of all this shit. Next, ooh, I forgot about this. I'm definitely bringing this. Do you guys remember this? This is the SPF 55 Neutrogena Compact. And I like in the summer will take a brush and push this all over my neck and chest. Not only does it like obviously airbrush the whole situation, but it's SPF 55. So it protects the shit out of you. I'm definitely bringing that with me. Okay. Next is this amazingly cute BB cream that I got from Amazon for like a dollar. I swear, but you know, and it's a nice product for the pro are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Like, was this bound to happen? Was this foreseeable in my future and I just ch chose to ignore the p t possibility that foundation would squirt on my white duvet? I'm going to get it out. Oh my goodness. This is a fucking tragedy. It's okay. I'm going to get it out. I'm a freaking stain whiz. So back to what I was saying before this shit. I'm definitely getting rid of it now. Just kidding. Look at how gray that is. Like, honestly... This was nice, but it's it was very thick. And I just never go for it because it's actually not that comfortable to wear. There's a nice result. If you like this type of texture, this might be good in like a very cold, dry climate. And I just never went towards it. It's just like, I don't like thick things on my face. <laughs> so a very interesting bird outside. That's what I'm looking at. One day when Puffy was outside playing, you guys are gonna die. I heard him barking at something and it's not unusual for him to be barking incessantly at something. There was a mother truck and hawk that was like, I'm not shitting you, it was the size of a cat. And it was like on the telephone wire and he was barking at the freaking hawk and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Like, 
how like he sensed a predator right and he was like alerting everyone or calling his mommy or whatever it was the cutest thing ever but I was like Jesus Christ that thing had a wingspan I, and I've never seen it since because I, I always check now because I'm like were you preying on my child I have a gun I will use it I will fuck you up if you try to fuck with my child long story short next so yes I'm getting rid of this this is perfect cover BB cream. All the products will be listed below uh, as usual. I, t I usually do do that because I, oh, a little cardinal just flew by. I usually do do that because you guys may not know what I'm saying. I mumble a lot. I'm moving a very fast. And I know when I watch YouTube videos, I'm like, oh, what'd she say? Or what was the last one? And it's not like I'm writing it on the screen or anything. So I usually do put the products mentioned in the description. It's kind of something I do consistently. I'm very professional over here. Okay, so this is the Maybelline Fit Me. This, like, I just love these types of products, right? Because especially in the summer when you put sunscreen on, you just want a little bit. You can just, you know, and either massage it out with your fingers or bounce around a beauty blender. But for some reason, this one I just never used. I don't know if I ever used it. I think I need to try it. I think I need to try it. Maybe I'll try it today. Okay, I've got a couple setting sprays okay so let's start with this one derma blend lock and last lock and last water resistant setting spray this is actually very good kind of reminds me of the urban decay 20 all nighter all nighter but not as like strong but it does dry matte and i might consider actually taking this next is your skin but better setting spray i actually really really like this but i don't need it right away Okay, I need to go to my room and get the rest of my skin products. So I just went back to my room to fill up the rest of my skin type products and like the box got filled again. It's a semi small box, but still like holy moly. Smith & Cult Untouched Foaming Skin Brightening Primer. I used this once. I would say I just bought it because I saw it went viral on TikTok and I just wanted to try something trendy. I would say I should try this. I should... If I want to use it, I should tr probably try it again because you know what I put this under? I put this under the long comb and I just don't like the long comb. So I have no idea if this was good or not, but I'm thinking a foaming primer just seems uncomfortable to me. Maybe I'm just not in the age group that like would enjoy a foaming primer. Let me show you so we can all get excited about how this looks though. I do remember this being very brightening. I think it has like some sort of pigment in it that it dries, it becomes brightened. You know what? This looks like a freaking tinted moisturizer in and of itself, to be honest. I'm gonna definitely try this again. Um, it smells like laundry, so that's another thing I don't really like, but look at it, it has color. Okay, so they say it's brightening, but really it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. I don't know. I feel like I should try it, but I'm like, do I need to force myself? Like. Oh, nice. My shout bottle is in the background. At least my duvet has been taken care of, but I need to remove that. So let's hop right into this part two of this. You know, sitting on my bed is not very comfortable sometimes. Okay, this Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. I have two for some reason. Definitely at least one has to go. This is actually a decent primer. It's like this silicone gel type texture that melts out to like a creamy feeling texture. I would say like it does look like it blurs texture a little bit, but it's not like amongst my favorite to use. Like as far as if I want to refine texture, I have better options, but it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I'm just going to, I'm going to put it in my keep, but not urgent pile. Okay. Next is this product I keep literally trying to use. I keep trying to use this product. I even put it in my makeup pile to like be like, maybe I will use it one day. I just don't freaking go for this. It's a thick, viscous formula that's very glossy. And I'm just like that, I I'm already glossy. I kind of need something to balance my skin out. But I like the idea of this, like in theory, putting this on and then put it in like setting your T-zone, that could be enough for the day, right? And a little bit of concealer. 
But it's like, well, you'd have to wear a sunscreen under it, obviously, and then you're putting like a serum on top of a sunscreen, but then it's like, well, this could be used as like a primer. It's more of a makeup product, but I just never wind up doing it because it just sounds uncomfortable after I have my nice sunscreen on to go on with like a gel watery situation. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's definitely not a skincare product. It is. It is a skincare product, but it's like a very gooey, syrupy kind of texture. I mean, even when I when I push it out, you see how thick it is. It doesn't even budge on my hand. It just sits there. And when you spread it out, it's just as thick. It is literally looks like, I don't even know how, what I would compare this to, but it's like a thick viscous gel that is, you know, not very comfortable to wear in any situation, unfortunately. All right, so a lot of these in here are concealers or primers. Okay, this is a product I've never used. I, I really liked the foundation so much that I bought the primer. I thought it would sound like a good idea in theory, but I actually just never freaking used it. So let me try to swatch it right now. It's a lotion. Ooh, oh my God, stop. 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 So it's obviously very white, but it doesn't matter because you put foundation on top of it anyways. But oh, it's kind of nice. It's kind of thick, but it's kind of blurring and yeah, it's kind of blurring a lot. I kind of want to try it. I'm going to put it in my need to try pile. You know, my need to try pile is just full of products that I really never wanted to use, but now I'm forcing myself to use them. You know what I mean? You know how you just buy things and you're just not drawn to them? Yeah. Okay, next is this infallible L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I love this. It reminds me of the Derma Blend, very much so. Reminds me of the Derma Blend. Um, yeah, I don't know if showing you these swatches are just like a waste of time, but it looks very nice on top of that primer. I love this concealer. I don't need it though, because I have a new favorite. Okay, I have a new favorite. Next is this Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Roller by Garnier. I love this in theory, but it's a little yellowy warm for my under eye, and I never wind up using it because it doesn't really offer any value it's like well then I'm just gonna put on a concealer that looks good if that's all the benefits I mean yeah it has green tea and caffeine and shit but it makes my under eye look yellow and that's the only real benefit I care about I don't really care about the skincare benefits too much to be very honest with you like that's what an eye cream is for so I'm getting rid of it okay next is the hourglass mineral veil oil free SPF 15 primer Love this primer, but I don't need it right now. I just don't need it because I already have, you know, the mini that I'm bringing with me. That's my whole plan. Okay, next is this Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. This is brand freaking new. I have not tried this, and I'm excited to try that, and I'm going to put it in my two-try pile. If it's good, I'll probably bring it because when I did swatch it, it's like a very lightweight formula. I actually love this packaging, too. It's like a – it's like the MAC – face and body packaging where it's like just very like plastic and feels functional and I like that actually. So this is the texture, it's very light, watery, which is the type of formula I like. I like light watery formulas because they're just more comfortable and flattering in any climate really. Sometimes I like a thicker texture in cold dry climates. Like I remember when I was in Colorado in the mountains I was like, ooh, I want like that derma blend. I want like that thick type of foundation but there that's not normally something I crave honestly I don't really like thick foundations anyways yeah I think that has potential I just want to I want to try it and then make a final decision next is this vanish airbrush primer and this is fucking the goat this is the goat you know what I feel like this is I feel like I'm just speculating based on how it performs do you guys remember that Peter Thomas Roth under eye cream that went viral on TikTok. That woman like put it on her under eye and she had significant bags and then they, that bag just like disappeared. Do you guys remember that? It's called like the Peter Thomas Roth. Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X Temporary Eye Tightener. Swear to goodness, that's what this does. This airbrush primer eliminates your texture, okay? Eliminates your texture and freaking makes you look airbrushed and it's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen and it's completely matte 
I'm obsessed and it's definitely it's definitely mandatory it needs to come with me this is the worst fucking letdown that I have ever experienced I'm returning it because I just bought it Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer illuminator illuminating natural skin illuminator I'm telling you all these natural illuminating products emphasize texture I don't I haven't met one that blurs the texture it's possible because mica does blur the texture but yeah um i was always adverse to buying this and then i just was feeling in uh, some type of way and very inspired by trying random things so i did buy this and i just hate it it's going back it's going back next rare beauty concealers like i don't know these are good i just never go for them let's see what they look like so this is what it looks like oh no i need a new battery mommy needs a new battery Ooh, it's it's nice i just remember it being like it's nice but i don't have any further things to say about it to be honest i'm just gonna go with i probably want to bring it but it's not mandatory for like right now i don't know whose idea it was to do a foundation video on my bed but it wasn't mine because i would not come up with such a crazy idea let's carry on i just have to get a new battery okay got this pile we got this pile we got that pile we got this pile. This pile can go over here. A new pile. Pile stuff of stuff that I need to try before making a decision. That is not a pile I foresaw. Okay, next, MAC Fix Plus. My favorite setting spray. I don't know why. I really don't know why this is my favorite. It's just my, my favorite. It like leaves you luminous, but it's not greasy. But it's like, yeah, I just like it. It's just like, uh, it leaves you unbothered. What's my hair doing? What is my hair doing? Oh my goodness. It doesn't bother you. You know what I mean? It doesn't bother you. It just kind of like leaves you as you were, only slightly better. That's why I like Fix Plus. I also like the mist that comes out of here for some reason. I just feel like it's a very reliable setting spray. Next, ooh, I have really grown to like this recently. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It is a full ass coverage paste. Okay, this is a paste. Like when I was dancing growing up, oh my gosh, this would have been like the under eye cover because it's like a thick paste. I mean, like, look at, look at that. It is so thick, but it, it's, it blends out. You can blend it out. So I just use a little bit and blend it out with a concealer brush or my finger and then a beauty blender. But what I like about this is it is full coverage. And I think it has a, a tendency to potentially settle into fine lines and creases, but I haven't experienced too much creasing with it. And I love that it's glowy. That's one thing about like this concealer is it's glowy. Like most concealers are matte, not this one. It's coming with me, but not for the first 30 days. Next is my new favorite concealer. This is the El Maquillage. Fuck, I'm flawless. That's what it's called. I like this because it's cream. It's cream. It's creamy. Very creamy. Almost like a whipped creamy texture. And it's full coverage. But it's same like the It Cosmetics. It's a little slightly dewy. But it blurs everything. And it's very thin. It's thin hydrating full coverage and slightly dewy it's just very very gorgeous and flattering and i love that it's thin that's that's what the main thing it's coming with me okay next is the hourglass concealer in oat i don't know i i feel like i'm gonna say i might not need this i feel like the color is slightly off for me yes it is it's very off and in a perfect world it's like i really wanted to like this because i love hourglass everything but i feel like their skin products just i haven't vibed with them too much I gotta get rid of it. I'm a big girl. I'm getting rid of shit. Okay, another Derma Blend concealer. How many do I have? Okay, I have N6. I have two of the same ones. That's amazing. <sighs> do I need the second one? I probably don't. I probably don't. I probably don't need two, but like, have I been using both of them? Most likely. I didn't even know I had to, so I really don't need a second one, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Perfect. That's settled. Okay, this is actually my current favorite. Wow, it just got so sunny. It's like that type of sky that's like very gray, but then a cloud breaks and then the sun gets right through. So it makes for very weird lighting. This is like my go-to recently. This is my everyday, all day, whenever reliable bitch. This is like, you know how I used to use the Neutrogena Hydra Boost? Well, this one is different, okay? But this used to be my go-to and then I just started using this one more because... 
I wanted to change it up and I, I actually probably need a new one of these but you know sometimes you just like to change it up I freaking love the texture of this it's like a serum -y, watery texture see that and it looks slightly yellow on the hand but it does not finish that way it finishes it just blends in perfect with your natural like it blends in perfect with my skin tone and it, it should because it says it's a neutral undertone I have it in 20 and it's the C Hydroflex Serum Foundation. What I like about it is it's just like, it makes your skin look good. It's very comfortable. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything and it matches my skin tone perfectly. I'm like, these three things shouldn't be so like hard to obtain, but they really sometimes are to get the right tone, the right viscosity that's comfortable on your skin and for it to actually perform in a way that's like it makes you look airbrushed. This does all three, I'm obsessed, it has to come with me. Okay, only a couple more products. This is the Capture, Dior Capture Dream Skin. I'm obsessed with this for warmer climates. Holy cannoli. This is a cushion and the serum is water thin. I'm talking water thin, water thin. Yeah, hopefully it still has moisture to it. I don't know, but this is water thin. I can't explain that enough, but it offers you just the lightest. It's like a second skin, like the thinnest, thinnest, less than water thin. So thin. <laughs> Did I make that clear enough? And just offers you like light coverage. So like, it's like, you know, in these tropical climates, I'm thinking it's going to be like you're out and about during the day and you want something on your skin just a little bit. It's just a little bit, maybe not enough for night, but for the day, holy crap. Like you always need good day products because it's like you might wanna look hot during the day. Maybe you don't wanna look like a troll every day. Maybe you wanna look hot and it's sunny and you just don't want like that cakey foundation look. Even like this, like this is gonna look like nothing on your skin. It's just gonna blur the slight imperfections. Girl, it's so effing good, oh my gosh. Okay, this is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Apparently I have a second travel size, so that's gotta go. Okay, last but not least is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This has been, clearly it's been my go-to. It is a nice product, but I don't know if it's like, I feel like there are other products that are better. Sometimes I feel like it's an uneven distribution of the product. But you know, like I, I actually really like it just for like casual days. If I'm wearing full set of makeup, sometimes I don't feel like this is the greatest. I feel like this is the greatest for like casual days. So maybe I, I will bring that just in case. Yeah, the next video I have palettes, I have different setting powders, eye products, liners, highlighters, palettes. Obviously, I still have all those categories, so I'm going to do a separate video, I think. But this was my skin decluttering organizational situation. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I am so glad that you're here. Don't forget to check out my products below. They will be linked. Check them out on Amazon. Check them out on Shopify. If you want to be notified the next time the Clear Skin Blueprint print launches, which will be later this year, so you have time, but you should get on that wait list because, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing I've ever designed, I think. It is so fucking amazing and it's huge. Huge, huge, huge. It's like this ginormous artifact I am uncovering right now. Oh, it's so good. In the last um, module, we talked about identifying the voice of the ego and disidentifying from the voices in your head. And why is this important? This is important because we are changing your reality. We are getting to your subconscious mind to erase the program that says you have acne. Yes, that's what we're doing. Why do we do that? We do that because when you have acne and your back is up against the wall, what the fuck else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? Why wouldn't you elect to do this? Why wouldn't you want control over your life? That's my perspective but it's like that's why I call it the blueprint because you can apply these principles to anything like I said in the intro video like this is me teaching you how to use your personal equipment this isn't me telling you use these products even though I do I do tell you like give you product recommendations we talk about ingredients we talk about skincare we talk about diet we talk about health habits but we talk about the energy because the energy is important the energy is where you're going to create the shift the energy is where you're going to experience the greatest shift. So yes, clearly I'm excited about it. Register below. You can get on the wait list. And what else do I need to say? That's it. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.